Hi everybody, today we're talking about Diptyque Olande. This is a perfume that's exclusive to Diptyque Boutiques, at least in North America. I think in the UK you can get this at Space NK as well as the Diptyque Boutiques, but it's not going to be at the Diptyque counters that are in department stores, so it is exclusive. I shared this story about me getting this perfume before. I think I've had it since the end of November, or no, the beginning of November. And I basically, I, I was at the mall and it was first thing in the morning, like right when the mall opened. And I went into the Diptyque Boutique to see if they had Benjoin Bohem because I wanted to smell that. And when I wandered in there, I kind of, picked this up. This was the first perfume I picked up and I sprayed it on a test strip and I loved it immediately. But then I was still looking for Benjoin Bohem. So I was wandering around a little bit. And then before I left, I sprayed this on skin and then I also sprayed Benjoin Bohem on skin just to kind of like see what would work for me. I walked around the mall. I was like maybe there for 45 minutes and you know, smelling both of these perfumes, one on one arm, one on the other. And then before I left the mall, like 45 minutes later, I went back into the Diptyque store and I was like, okay, I've made a decision. I wanna get this one. And it kind of, it really did blow me away when I smelled it on strip, when I first sprayed it. It was so fresh, so interesting, so spicy and I rarely have that sort of um, reaction when I first spray a perfume. I think after sampling so much, it's really hard to be impressed by things. And often I find when I'm smelling things in store, I really can't smell things properly because there's all these other smells that are in the air, especially when you walk into a perfume store. So the Diptyque store, usually has all these smells and I feel like I can't really ever make a decision. I'm never really blown away, but because I was there first thing in the morning, that did not happen. I was not overwhelmed with the smells and I could smell things really clearly that day. Um, right next to the store or like two stores down is the Aesop store and I find that everything in there always smells the same. Uh, but I did wander in there also and then I ended up you know, walking around to some other stores. I went to the Joe Malone, Malone Boutique and a few other places and smelled a whole bunch of things on paper, but then wandered back into Diptyque and I had to leave with a bottle of Olant. So I'll tell you what the story behind this is. This is supposed to be an imaginary voyage back to Alexander the Great when at night spices and resins were burned. Uh, the perfume came out in 1986 and um, so, you know, it's been around for a really long time. I think it is one of the lesser talked about Diptyque perfumes just because it's a little bit harder to get. Uh, it's classified as being warm, spicy on Fragrantica and Ambry in the dry down. To my nose, I would say that this is a spicy uh, incense amber perfume and a lot of people who have smelled this with me at least have smelled a lot of cinnamon in it and a lot of incense in it but I think it's a lot more than that uh, there is definitely cinnamon in the opening of this perfume um, and cinnamon has like a spiciness and a bite that maybe um, a lot of other spices have as well so the the bite and the camphoric nature of cinnamon is also found in anise so i think there's a little bit anise in here and then it also has like a dry herbal feel and i think that's coming from a little bit of lavender so to my nose i think that the lavender anise and cinnamon are all nicely blended together and it's a combination of the hot spice of cinnamon with the cold spice of the anise that gives it kind of an uplifting, revitalizing quality when you first spray it. And it almost reminds me of some natural perfumes that I've smelled. Like it reminds me of like an Aveda perfume 
If you smelled anything from Aveda, if you go into their store and even smell like their rosemary mint shampoo or something like that, you know, you get like a, a herbal uplifting um, accord that they seem to use in a lot of their blends. And sometimes a lot of natural perfumes smell the same because they all try to use those notes. And so this in the opening really does remind me of an Aveda perfume. Yes, it's got cinnamon, it's got a lot of cinnamon, it's really spicy and hot because of that, but that cinnamon is blended with anise and lavender and you get like a really dry herbal kind of um, opening when you first spray this. Now, the anise and lavender are only there for the very, very beginning of the scent. I would say for maybe a few minutes, maybe uh, half an hour, but definitely not even an hour. And then for most of the opening, you really get a lot of cinnamon. And as the cinnamon dries down and wears away, you get left with a lot of incense, which on my skin comes out maybe an hour or two after I spray the perfume, especially if I'm spraying it on my skin. And the first time I wore this out somewhere, someone asked me if I had been burning incense because they could smell incense in the air. And, you know, I was like, no, that's actually me. I got a new perfume and I definitely oversprayed it today. I think I was wearing like six or seven sprays. And so, yes, mostly I would say that this is an incense perfume and there's a lot of frankincense, there's Peru balsam in it, so it does have a balsamic nature. Um, so if this was, you know, Alexander the Great burning incense and spices and scenting his cloaks with the smoke from the incense and spices, I would say more than that, it smells like dried, unburned incense um, and spices. It doesn't really smell smoky at all. I think in 1986, you know, you could, uh, that story would have been evocative of this kind of smell where you've got like a blend of frankincense and um, other incense notes that make up the base of this perfume. But in 2023, we're used to smelling incense perfumes that have a lot of smoke in them too. And there are aroma chemicals that can give you that smoky feel. And this doesn't have any smoke in it. It doesn't have anything that's dark and mysterious in that way. It's kind of a fresh and warm perfume at the same time. And that juxtaposition of notes, like that difference between them where we can smell the freshness and then it dries down into something warm and cozier. And that is really what you get in Olant. You don't get a smokiness that you would smell in, you know, um, a lot of other modern incense perfumes, which I think needs to be noted because a lot of people, when they think of incense, they think that it's going to smell really smoky. And this one does not smell smoky at all. Uh, I think from what I've read, a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with this perfume too. They like the dry down because of the incense, but they don't necessarily like the opening because of how spicy it is. I think if you don't like spices in general or you don't like spicy perfumes, then this might be a little bit more challenging. And I can see why it is one of Diptyque's lesser loved perfumes. I think that the reason is that it's a little bit hard to get because it's only at Diptyque Boutiques and then spices really aren't for everybody. So if you've got an allergy to spices or you just think of them as foreign because maybe you don't use them very much, then again, this blend of notes is going to be a little bit challenging. So Diptyque has said that Olant is supposed to smell like Alexander the Great setting up camp and burning incense and spices and scenting his cloaks with the smoke from those burning materials but i would say that this is more as if alexander the great had set up camp in the middle of the woods because you do get a balsamic quality to the dry down to the spices or to the incense that's in the dry down 
Um, and it's like he is setting up camp in the woods and you've got the spices and the unlit incense along with the smell of pine trees that are in the forest and all of that is encapsulated within Olant. It's missing the smoke from a fire, but it really is a fresh blend of aromatic spices along with a blend of different incense materials that are in the base. The base doesn't have the vanilla and the benzoin, the sweetness that a lot of current modern ambery perfumes have. So if you're expecting an amber to be very heavy and very warm and cozy and hot, you're not going to get that in Olant. But if you want something that is more of a fresh incense perfume, then this is definitely one to try and one that I find to be really easy to wear because a lot of times those vanilla sweet perfumes can be a little bit too heavy for me and I prefer my ambery perfumes to be a little bit lighter and this does have a lightness and a freshness and a zestiness because of all the spices that are used in it. Olant is a little bit medicinal in the opening. It's a little bit camphoric because of the anise. Maybe it reminds you of Tiger Balm or it reminds you of some sort of balm that you would put on your muscles if they're really sore. But it also reminded me of grape water, which I used to have when I had an upset, upset stomach when I was younger. And I know it's something that people give to babies when babies are colicky, but a lot of us as adults still remember the taste of grape water and the opening really did remind me of that. I actually have been looking for a perfume that smelled like grape water because I wanted that nostalgic scent and I hadn't really come across anything that was, that was said to be similar, but the opening of Eau Launch really did remind me of that. And I think it's the anise and the other spices that are in here that give me that feeling. So I really enjoy that. This just makes me feel like it's a very bohemian scent. So I think that when I wear it, I, I'm like a little bit chill, laid back. You know, maybe I'm the type of person that wears long dresses and I shop at natural food stores and maybe I make my own soap and I'm the type of person that does have an incense ritual and I light incense all the time. Um, maybe I'm an art therapist or something like that and I definitely live in the woods away from the hustle and bustle of the city and this perfume is just so transportive for being that like it does just take you away from everything and it doesn't have an urban kind of feel about it it really has you know you're in the woods with spices and incense and I don't think an art therapist or a bohemian person would wear this perfume because I think that they're already surrounded by all these materials and all these smells but if you want to feel like you could be in the mindset of that type of person, then definitely Olant might be something that you like. And it's definitely something worth exploring, especially, you know, sometimes if we're going through a harder time in our lives, you want something that's going to take you out of yourself. And I think this definitely has the ability of doing it. It's so different from anything else I've smelled and from anything else that I've smelled from Diptyque because I think a lot of their scents are easier to wear and more crowd pleasing, but this one is a little bit more challenging, um, but I, I appreciate that about it and I think that's what drew me to it in the first place. I think if you like the spices of uh, Feminité du Bois by Serge Lutens, or you like the cinnamon in Portrait of a Lady, or you like the clove. Oh, cloves are one of the other spices that are in this. People say that this has a lot of cloves. I don't get it to be very clove-like in to my nose, but um, it does have cloves in the opening. Um, but if you like the cloves from Equipage Geranium, then you might appreciate the spiciness of Olant as well. Definitely a little bit challenging if you aren't expecting it, 
but really beautiful in the way that it wears and changes as it warms up on your skin because it does start very fresh and it ends up being warmer and um, cozier, definitely softer and not as zesty as it was in the opening. Reminds me of a lot of natural perfumes, reminds me of Aveda perf perfumes and you know, a lot of Bohemian people I think also maybe like to shop at Aveda. Um, but yeah, so this is only available in a 100 ml bottle and it's an eau de toilette formulation. Compared to other diptyque scents that I've tried, I think this has very good lasting power depending on how much you wear. If I wear five or six sprays, I can definitely smell this the whole entire day. And you know, that for me is about eight hours and I'm happy with that for this perfume. I think just the nature of the ingredients makes it last longer. I think incenses in general tend to stick to your skin and last a little bit longer. Um, whereas maybe some other materials from other diptyque perfumes don't last as long. Um, so it does have really good lasting power. It has good sillage. It does project a lot when you first spray it and then softens down. But for the first two or three hours, I think people around you are gonna be able to smell it and hopefully will appreciate it as much as the people around me appreciated it. I did get compliments on it and people do tell me that I smell good when I wear this. And I have been wearing it like almost every day since I got it. That's why there is this much of a dent in it because I just love smelling it all the time. I like natural perfumes, but I find that a lot of them smell the same and this one kind of smells like a natural perfume, but it, it turns into something different and it is still very diptyque like, like you get a fine mist, you get um, a little bit of a refined texture to the perfume. You know, there's not as many harsh edges, even though this is does, this does have a zestiness in the opening but I find that to be so uplifting and revitalizing and I really really like that so that is um, Olant maybe wears a little bit more masculine and some of the perfumes that I mentioned before are masculine perfumes but you know all the diptyque scents are unisex so you have to decide for yourself whether you can pull it off or not uh, I think the lavender in the opening makes people think that it's a little bit more masculine because people associate more masculine perfumes with lavender nowadays, but um, doesn't bother me. I love it for what it is. Gorgeous bottle as always. There's a pen and ink drawing on the back and I think that's supposed to be like Alexander the Great's ship or something, um, but yeah. That's, that's Olant, definitely my favorite perfume that I've bought recently and been reaching for it all the time. If you've tried this one, let me know what you think. Um, I know a lot of people describe this as also going into like a Christmas shop or like a shop where they smell lots of tchotchkes because they smell kind of old and cinnamony and incense-y. Um, but to me, this is like really like being outside but with spices and incense kind of in the air and i love it for that that's a lot thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time bye